Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm worried about the placement of the mic that you'll be able to hear my heartbeat throughout this. It's never been a cause for concern before. Uh, anyway, hi, hello, welcome back. Today we have a fashion related video, which I feel like I haven't done anything fashion and clothing and style related in a long time and that's a big part of what my channel is that's a big part of who i am uh that's a big part of what i want to deliver to you guys in my content and so we are back baby yes oh kind of hate that i said that <laughs> i had this brilliant idea if i do say so myself <laughs> of compiling a list of all of the designers that I was introduced to while I was in New York because I thought I knew about fashion before moving there, but I was wrong. Um, there was so much that I didn't know and just the ignorance was... So I thought it would be fun to share with you some of the designers I learned about during my time in New York, the ones I really love still to this day, and the ones that are not contributing to my life in any way and I could have definitely done without learning about them. <laughs> Enough of me explaining, let's get into the video. Got my handy dandy computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So let's start this video out on a positive note. I'm going to be going through five of the designers that I do like and explain their styles a little bit and price points, whatever. You'll see as we go. First and foremost, we have Nanushka. This is a brand I was introduced to when I worked at Saks Fifth Avenue because it's a brand they carry and I would say they're more of a middle of the road ready to wear brand. They're not super crazy expensive, but they are at a higher price point than your typical fast fashion retailers. They are not fast fashion. Do not put them in that category. <laughs> I really like this brand because they do stick to a fairly neutral color palette but they have fun with like textures and patterns and things of that nature. And I, I guess I would describe it as like a sophisticated but also fun type of vibe. They're very modern and contemporary, but still have kind of youthful energy. And I really like them. All of their stuff is amazing quality. And yeah, I just really love the vibe of this brand. If you live near a Saks or they may have them at like Nordstrom or Macy's or some places like that as well. But if you ever find a place that carries Nanushka, um, definitely try them out. They're a really cool brand. Okay, second brand that I was introduced to in New York that I like is Pierre Moss. If you are an OG, you know I used to have a fashion podcast called The Style Diaries. It is still active, it's still live, I just don't upload anymore because I lost interest. But I dedicated a whole episode to Pierre Moss. There was a series I did for a while that highlighted black and BIPOC fashion designers and Pierre Moss is one of my favorites. It's a very streetwear, that kind of vibe brand and they're really cool. Like they have very unique designs. I like that they have like a signature color they go with, like their tags and a lot of their clothing pieces are this unique shade of yellow, which is like the Pierre Moss yellow. Um, very cool. They've done collaborations with uh, Reebok, I believe, for a shoe line and I think some clothing pieces as well. They are fairly new and a small brand um, and so they don't have many collections and many pieces but very awesome. I would say they're also a middle of the road to possibly like more high-end. Uh, some of their price points are pretty up there but 
yeah awesome brand I don't know if they're sold in any retailers I found or I discovered them through working at rent the runway they are a brand that rent the runway carries if you are into renting your clothes so that is an option on how to get your hands on them but definitely definitely a cool brand one that I really respect okay brand number three uh, this is technically I don't know okay I'll explain as we go it's Junya Watanabe um, she, I believe, oh God, I should have done my research before I filmed this. Hold on, hold on. I think she used to be the designer for Comme des Garçons. Maybe she still is. We're going to Google as I'm talking because I feel like an idiot now. I completely forgot to do my research. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Junya Wananabe is a he, protege of Comme des Garçons designer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can leave any of that in. I feel so bad. I completely botched <laughs> that biography. I am so sorry. Anyway, he has just the most incredibly unique designs I feel like I've ever seen so unique so like high high fashion couture like beautiful designs if I had to describe the style it's almost like a mix of Gucci and Alexander Wang but almost even like more high fashion really amazing stuff if you only know Comme des Garçons for their like play hearts, um, their play line. They do have like high fashion couture as well. And so obviously it's reminiscent of that since he is part of Comme des Garçons. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Again, discovered him through working at Saks. We had a whole collection of Junior Wanadabi items. Really sick. I would never personally like wear his stuff because I don't have anywhere to wear it to. If I had like a carpet to go to or if I was going to a really big event or something, then hell yeah, absolutely. But a little too high fashion for every day for my taste personally, <laughs> but still awesome brand, awesome designer. It is so dark. When and how did it get so dark in here? Penultimate, second to last designer that I love, that I was introduced to, is Dodo Bar Or. Don't ask me if that's the correct pronunciation. I don't know. <laughs> they're really cool because one, their quality is superb. Just amazing quality things. And at least from what I can tell, the vibe that they go with for each season's collection that they drop is different. So you really never know what you're going to get with them, uh, which is really cool. Again, I was introduced to them at Saks, and I believe we carried them at Rent the Runway too, at least some pieces, obviously not all. But uh, I just remember one time at Saks, if you've seen my working at Saks videos, you know that we were encouraged to try on the items that we sold so that we could speak on like the fit and the quality and the designer and blah 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 blah. There was one day I was working and it was really slow so I tried on like all of Dodo Borrower's pieces and they had this like lambskin black leather jumpsuit which first of all was like 40 pounds it was so heavy because it was real it was like real leather and it was so incredibly soft i i've never felt leather that soft before it was amazing um it was also like two thousand dollars but <laughs> it was a very incredible piece and from that moment i was like hooked on them uh very great quality very fun company check them out it is so dark what is going on oh my god last brand that i was introduced to that i like is gani 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 i'm gonna say gani i've always said gani i don't know if that's correct or not but 
They are also kind of a middle of the road, mid to high end luxury brand. They again are more fun and youthful, but have kind of like a modern, trendy vibe to them. Um, I'd say of the ones we've talked about, they're most similar to Nanushka, but they do have more like vibrant colors. Nanushka is pretty neutral, sticks to that color palette. Ghani definitely has some vibrant pieces. They are not afraid to play with texture and color and pattern and really fun, really modern, really contemporary. Again, we had them both at Saks and at Rent the Runway. I would say I got more of a feel for them at Rent the Runway because I wore their stuff quite frequently, actually. Um, Nanushka too, actually. We had Nanushka as well, and I wore a lot of their stuff, so I can attest to the quality of both brands. Very good. Oh my god, will you shut the fuck up? Very good, very fun. Now let's move into designers that New York introduced me to that I would not recommend and I regret learning about. <laughs> okay, so this first one has a story. <laughs> So the brand is Retrofit, and I'll say up front that I like Retrofit's um, items. They have some really cool, unique pieces. I have worn some of their stuff before. It's cool. However, the designer's an asshole. There was one day I was working at Saks, which Retrofit is a brand we carried at Saks. There was one day I was working and I just so happened to be near our Retrofit section. I was not working in that section. And a man waves me over and he says, why does this area look like shit? <laughs> and me working. <laughs> had to remain polite and calm and I told him I don't know why it looks like this what can you can you clarify what you mean he said why is this displayed like this this doesn't look good I told him well that was not my doing first and foremost second of all our merchandising team takes care of the store displays um, can I ask how you would like to have it arranged? He said, well, I'm the designer of this brand and this looks terrible. I was like, okay, noted, noted. So <laughs> would not recommend Retrofit simply because if you buy into this brand, you are giving your money to a fucking asshole. So fun little New York story time for you there. <laughs> Moving on, okay, <laughs> this one. Okay, let's just get one thing clear out the gate. You pronounce this brand Hervé Leger. I'm gonna say it one more time. <laughs> Hervé Leger. It is not pronounced Herve Ledger. <laughs> it is not pronounced Herve Ledger. <laughs> Stop calling it Herve Ledger. Oh my god, this would drive me insane, but also simultaneously crack me up every time I would hear people mispronouncing this. Anyway, Herve Leger. Um, it's not that I don't like this brand. I no, I don't like this brand. Um, <laughs> it just it's it's like a it's like a high fashion version of House of CB, like they're known for their bandage dresses and it just gives me Miami nightclub vibes, but for like thousands of dollars, like they are a very expensive brand and in my humble opinion, <laughs> very tacky and I just... I don't get it. I mean, obviously not all of their pieces are terrible. Yeah, not the biggest fan. You can do better for that kind of money. Like, And if you want to wear a bandage dress like that, do just go with House of CB or something like that. There's nothing wrong with bandage dresses at all. There's definitely a time and a place, but is that time and place worth $2,000? <laughs> 
why are we dark again? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Rami Brooke, you are on the chopping block. <laughs> I can't tell you oh, how much this brand makes me cringe. I'm so sorry, this is no disrespect to like the designer or anything. I just absolutely hate the aesthetic of this brand. <laughs> hate it, hate it, it is not for me. I hate the cuts, I hate the colors, I hate everything about it. It's just, ugh, ugh, no. All of the designs look the same. All of them are just ugly as fuck. <laughs> annoying neon colors, annoying unflattering fabrics, the cuts, like they do so much of that stupid baby doll shit and ugh, it just looks like Miami done wrong. Like tourist goes to Miami and just, uh, no, I can't stand this brand. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Remy Brooke. It's a no from me. Mm -mm. Okay, next up is a handbag brand, actually. Let's talk about Susan Alexandra for a second. If you are in the market for a bag that costs several thousand dollars and looks like it was made by a fifth grader at summer camp, this is the brand for you. No? No takers? Okay. Uh, I don't I don't get why this brand does what it does. I don't understand. I can I can kind of see having one beaded bag in your collection if that's your vibe. That's fine, but I just I can't get behind it. I think it's really, I guess if you want a unique piece, that's one way to do it, but for several thousand dollars, like you can do better. I know you can do better. Come on. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so it turns out her bags are a lot less expensive than I thought. And so I don't feel as bad about spending like a hundred two hundred dollars on one of these i think that's fair for the amount of work that goes into it so you can kindly disregard this portion of the video anyway <laughs> i think we had them at the runway too again just these brands they're very big and popular but for some of them why i mean I guess it was someone's dream at some point along the way, and that's fine. That's great. I'm glad they are clearly doing well. It's just not for me. Last brand that New York introduced me to that I do not like is Millie. Millie. I just get JCPenney vibes from this brand. <laughs> I worked in this section in Saks. Um, this was part, this was one of the brands that I was assigned to and just no, like an overpriced JCPenney's collection. I, no, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more I need to say. I just, and I don't like the name, like Millie. That just sounds gross to me. I don't, I don't know why Millie. Millie. <laughs> I'm done being a bitch. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was actually more fun for me to make than I thought. I didn't know how this was going to go. Just me either hyping brands up or roasting the hell out of them. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe you discovered some new brands that you like and want to try, or maybe you didn't. That's fine too. <laughs> Regardless, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Jenny. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so you can find me back here on my channel if you're interested. I would love for you to subscribe and join our growing community. We we just passed 300 subscribers today, so thank you guys. I'm so excited about that. I, uh, It's so fun to watch new people come in and join the family, and I love it. You guys are the best. So 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Wednesday with another video. Bye. Oh, that one's going to be a really special one, so you're going to want to watch. Okay.